I got my Mattel DC Universe Classics Eldorado, and I am one leg left on having a complete Apache Chief. Let's crack it open. Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams, here on the Digitally Rebastard Network, the action figure show about news, reviews, collecting tips, customizations, kit bashing, everything that goes into this fun, nerdy hobby that you and I both love. And in this special episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Mattel DC Universe Classics El Dorado. Uh, I, as you may or may not know, uh, I am in the process of trying to assemble... Uh, an Apache Chief, collect and connect, or build a figure, if you will. And uh, this is one of the final steps I need, other than the right leg. Uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to take a look at this, and then we're going to put together the Apache Chief that I have, um, except for the right leg. I have all the pieces except that. So let's take a look at the packaging here. We've got the classic DC Universe uh, Classics packaging from Mattel. Here you can see DC Universe Classics, El Dorado, Wave 18, figure number two. And the torso is in this package. So it is the middle piece I need to put all the other pieces in. And then I also have, uh, I got the upper, the head and lower torso and the two arms today as well. I got them as a separate uh, purchase. Uh, because I did not want the other characters that came with it. Well, one of them I already had, which was Toy Man. So uh, we've got that as the front of the package and then the back of the package. Uh, here we've got, as you can see, we've got a whole blurb about El Dorado. This is another one of the uh, Super Friends. Uh, that's It wasn't originally a, a DC uh, character until the Super Friends 1981, and then it was made... Uh, that as well as Apache Chief, and these—that was my main goal—is I wanted Black Vulcan, Samurai, and Apache Chief and El Dorado because they were the super friends. I already had Toy Man. Didn't this is the right leg right there? Is Bronze Tiger? Don't want Bronze Tiger. Uh, Captain Boomerang. I would have got, uh, but he was also another one of the. Uh, what is it? He is the. Uh, oh, he's the lower torso. So I got that in that one uh, auction on eBay. so, But that's the entire wave. They build Apache Chief. There you've got a blurb about him. Ages 0 to 3, you know what that means. That's right, you're welcome. And then on the bottom here, a whole bunch of jibbery jibbery legal jargon, uh, maddiecollector.com, Mattel, and barcode! So let's get him out of here. Uh, and, and again, I know there's going to be some people cringing. It's like, oh my gosh, he's opening it. Well, I'm an opener. There are people that don't open, and that's just, that's perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. There's really no wrong way to collect action figures. Um, there's stuff that people like, stuff that people don't like. As some of you know, I don't like Todd McFarlane stuff. I've stated that before, and um, there are people that do. And again, nothing wrong with that. We like what we like. We like. We don't like what we don't like. And uh, and there is there it is right there. Oh man! All right, let's pull Apache or Apache Chief. Let's pull El Dorado out of here. I've never was never really. I was never really. Uh, I, I didn't really understand his powers. I think he just be, he could become invisible. I think that was his powers. <laughs> That's all you really ever saw him do on the Super Friends. But he was one of the Super Friends, and I, I needed to have him for uh, for my collection up on my shelf. So there we go. Let's get him and the other pieces out and on the pedestal, and uh, we'll check him out. All right, here we've got him on the pedestal, and let's take a look at the only accessory he comes with, which isn't really an accessory. It's uh, Apache Chief's uh, upper torso. Um, and, uh, this has got a very, very soft, rubbery brown vest on there. You can see some stitching around the edge there. Uh, and then we have some type of necklace that looks like it's soft rubber too, but I think it is glued on. Uh, so we'll put that back on there. Then we have a belt or sash here. On the bottom of that, that looks like that is glued on as well or fastened in there somehow. And then there is the peg that goes on to the lower torso into the legs, or in my case, leg. And then the arms go in the sockets here. 
uh, which we'll do that here in a moment. There is El Dorado. Let's take a look at El Dorado. He stands at approximately between six and a quarter and six and a half inches tall, which is right. That's pretty standard uh, for those guys. Uh, let's take a look at the sculpt. Very, very cool looking sculpt. We've got a soft rubber uh, overlay here um, with uh, some very, very Hispanic or Aztec looking um more more aztec looking um glyphs and uh design on that it goes all the way around to the back and onto it down to a belt piece um looks really good i don't know if i want to hit that with my gold pen or not let me just leave it um nice head sculpt um you got some a uh, little bit of blue dry brush on there to give it sort of a comic book type feel uh, he's got some gold gloves that are painted onto the arms there. Um, and he's got grip hands. I don't know why he has grip hands, but uh, in fact, I don't think on the packaging. That's very interesting because on the packaging, he doesn't have grip hands. He has uh, fist hands. Well, that's that's quite interesting. Hmm, he doesn't have... Nope, there were no hands in there. So he doesn't have removable hands. I don't think any of them really did that. Um, but nice musculature uh, work there. Uh, down to some green pants. Now, we do have a little bit of a faded issue because this is an older, so the, the crotch piece there is a little bit different color. It looks like we've got a lighter green here, a medium green, and a dark green. But uh, that's okay. Uh, going down to some boots, which these are painted on, not sculpted. You've got some red with some gold uh, lines going through there, uh, right below the green pants. And then we have a rubber red, um, unfortunately, but it is very, very soft, pliable rubber tape there. And I'm just going to, you know, take it for what it is there. Um, let's look at articulation here, going over that. Um, head all the way around. This is your standard Mattel, just a static neck with a dumbbell going up into the head. So we have a little bit of down, a uh, little bit of back, uh, not really any tilt. Arms, again, Mattel's even as old as this is being in the package, is smooth as silk. Um, got uh, arms, uh, shoulder hinge there, going all the way up to the T formation. We have a bicep swivel and a single uh, elbow, uh, just with a swivel, or just with a hinge, no swivel. Um, wrist swivel all the way around and no hinge on the wrist. I mean, Mattel has improved their, uh, their articulation since this. And again, I wish they were still doing DC figures instead of Todd, but, uh, you know, that happened. Mistakes were made. Um, so we've got, uh, we do have, oh, I'm getting to the legs. We have an ab crunch hinge right there, but you're not getting much because that is, is hindering it a little bit. You've got some forward, and actually kind of pulls him forward a little bit, but um, no, no biggie there. I've uh, got a waist swivel, fantastic. Um, going down to the classic Mattel uh, hinge there at the thighs, and then we have a thigh, well, more of a leg swivel, not really up into the thigh, but a leg swivel right there, and a single knee that goes back right to there with a leg oh that almost looked like that might have had a swivel on it uh a an ankle hinge down there at the bottom so let's stand him right here and get this party started okay first off let's go ahead and get the head and put that on boom there we go head is on let's get the arms on this is exciting this is so exciting I've been looking forward to having this guy in my collection for a long time. Um, let's see, that's going to go in there. And then the lower torso goes on this way. Get that snap in. That's not wanting to snap in. Hopefully I won't have the same problems that I had with dark side. Uh, let's see here. Let me bring this behind the camera and do this. There we go. And then we've got the left leg. 
And that, I can get that lined up. And there we go. Um, Apache Chief. I made it happen. This is a great moment in my collection. <laughs> uh, so we got Apache Chief missing a right leg. Uh, so I can tell, until I can get my hands on that right leg, um, that is how he's going to have to be. Um, so I can, I can at least sit him down. Can't even sit him down, really. Um, there we go. So let's get El Dorado off the pedestal, and we'll line him up with some other characters and see how he scales up. All right, here we've got him with the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Return of the Jedi Deluxe Boba Fett, the Hasbro Marvel Legend Series Retro Comic Doctor Strange, the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Flint, and the Mezco 112th Collective 1978 Superman. Uh, all in all, I'm super happy with him. I'm super happy to have him. I'll give him, uh, I'll give him a 7 out of 10. Um, just for the fact that, I mean, it'd be, it'd be 6 out of 10, but he's got some really nice... Uh, sculpt work and and some nice costume pieces on him. Uh, it doesn't have, like I said, he doesn't have the um, doesn't have double elbows, doesn't have wrist hinges, and doesn't have uh, doesn't have the rocker on the ankles or a uh, double knee on there. But uh, you know that's what they were then. They weren't, you know, that those advancements weren't making their way running rampant through a lot of the action figures that were being produced at the time. But they are now, and I wish uh, I wish that Miss Tell was still making DC figures, because that would be awesome. Hopefully someday they'll get the license back, but uh, for right now, that's what we got. So, um, that plus um, Apache Chief here, uh, one-legged Apache Chief, and if you do know anyone who has one, or if you have a right leg, you can contact... Uh, me, just leave a comment down um, underneath this video, and uh, we'll make an arrangement. And uh, you know, if you'd be willing to get rid of one, I'd be definitely be willing to get it, take it off your hands. Uh, other than that, that'll do it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of the digitally rebastard network. You all have a great week and a great day. I'll see you next time. And until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.